Hi folks, welcome back to B Mills Farm. It's a Monday again, and uh, still snow on the ground. <laughs> Roosters on point as always. <clears throat> so I had not the best morning this morning. I uh, took the meat birds to be processed. And I learned a very big lesson. I came out late last night after it was all dark and everything and uh, packed the chickens up into their crates, get them ready to go so I could just head out in the morning. And um, I figured they'd be fine because it was so cold outside that, you know, they wouldn't have a problem with stress or overheating or anything. And I was very wrong. When I came out this morning, Nine of them were dead. So I only ended up with 16 or 17. Yeah, 17 making it to the butcher. And one of them got held back because it had a pus spot or something. So lesson learned, I suppose. <clears throat> um... And out of the nine that were dead this morning, I, you know, pulled them out and set them to the side to, because it's cold out, I figured they'd freeze and they wouldn't stink and all that stuff. Well, I returned home and uh, had one that was up walking around. So now I get to process one myself. <clears throat> but uh yeah so unfortunately it, that whole project didn't go very well but um i learned a lesson out of it and cornish cross chickens are really sensitive to begin with because they just get so stinking big so fast that they have heart problems and all that. So, you know, if you add just a little bit of stress, you know, you could, you could easily lose them. But on the plus side, this thing is awesome. It's got snow piling up which is not good i have to figure out a solution to that it can't get any tighter the way they have the strap set up so it's really not ideal for winter but i think i'm gonna put some supports in the middle just to keep the middle high some way somehow i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do that yet but but that's the plan we'll get these guys some scratch some pumpkins in here that they don't seem to care too much about. Throw some corn down. And some scratch grains. They're good on water. Well, that's what I gotta do today is get the pig's water set up. All right, chickens are fed. I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna get a steel, a galvanized uh, garbage can to keep in here with their feed and grain and all that stuff. I tried getting Mr. Ducky to come in here, but he won't do it. He just hangs outside the door. Pigs are getting grumpy. Pigs are getting the <clears throat> hay worked into the ground pretty good. So I'm gonna 
kind of try to even it out and then spread more on and keep building their bed. Get their toilet all taken care of. Don't forget to keep your bailing twine because you'll find a use for it. Hopefully their watering system works out so that they'll quit spilling their water and getting the hay all wet. Not that it's a big deal because they have lots of warm dry hay around. So they're staying plenty warm. And I finally heard back from the guy that I'm getting the boar and a few more piglets from. And I hopefully I can make it work out that I can get them picked up this week sometime. Either this week or the weekend, but hopefully before the week's over they'll be here. So <clears throat> now that the meat birds are out of there. I got, you can see, that's one of the egg layers I can't catch. But now that the meat birds are out of there, I can get that last stall set up and ready for pigs. And then hopefully separate these guys too. Lots of work ahead, but just keep plugging away. Fence is still working great. Cement mixer is still in the way. You know, just another day. I do have to figure out a solution for this though, really soon if the pigs are coming because I need all three stalls at that point and possibly even bring that three-year-old boar here to get mama bread, so. <sighs> Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. To think about all the work that's gotta be done, but you know. That stinking day job gets in the way. But if you folks would all subscribe, you know, this could turn into something someday. So don't forget to do that. Support your local farmer, or not even local, just small farmer. So this is sad, but the reality of my day. I thought for sure they were all dead, so I put him out. They weren't moving. So I put him out basically to freeze so that I could get rid of him. And uh, I come back and he's alive. So I'm gonna put him in with the egg layers for now and then I'll just process him myself when I get the chance. <clears throat> he's not overly big, so you know, he can still fly and stuff, so he's not at risk of 
having a heart attack or whatever, I don't think. It's my first time doing bird meat birds, so. But anyways, I'll get them put in the with the egg layers and then next on the list is crossing our fingers that that water does not leak. He's had a hard day, so we'll just let him be a chicken for a while, and um, you know when it's when it's time to process him, then I'll then I'll do it. But for now, he lives on. Also, I haven't checked the comments, but we still need to come up with a name for that my black and white chicken. Probably cat prints, most likely. <clears throat> Which I'm totally, I, I don't want any cats in my house, but I'm totally fine with cats being around because they're rodent control. And if you're on a farm, you have rodents. Eventually, I really need to put in, I think it's called a sand point well. It's just one of those, you know, watering deals that has the lever on it. I think you just pound it in the ground until you find water. And uh, that would be an amazing addition to this whole operation so I don't have to haul water so far because it's quite the workout when there's snow on the ground. We probably have... Oh, maybe three or four inches of snow. Not bad, but, you know, at some point there will probably be, it's not uncommon to have over a foot on the ground at a time. So that'll be next year's project, probably. All right, let's get this water on here. Hopefully one of these notches work because I haven't tested it yet. Of course I got snow on it when I brought it in here, so I'm not gonna be able to tell really easily if it's leaking. I'm just gonna pretend I did a nice job and it's not gonna leak. And tomorrow I'll know for sure. Hopefully it even holds this much. I don't know, that's pretty heavy. It's probably got nine gallons of water in it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to build something that this can sit on because that's, that's quite a bit of weight on there. But we'll pretend it's not and check back tomorrow.
style. Just stand by and watch me struggle for a second. Okay. Got a lid on there to keep the rafts out and stuff. Cause that wouldn't be any good. A dead rat in their water. So lid's a important deal. The pigs are just over there eating. They don't really care about me today, so I'll have to show them in a different clip. Get the strap on here and we should be good to go. I think all that's coming off, it's just the snow melting, but I don't know. I got a hundred feet of strap way too much. I guess I'll use this extra to tie it to the cattle panel because it's not, yeah, I gotta build a platform for it. That's all there is to it. But for now, it should be sufficient. Basically, all I ever do is just bandage problems until the weekend when I have sufficient time to fix them, which is, probably what most folks in my situation are doing because you know obviously something like this isn't gonna make you much money if at all for a while so you just gotta do what you gotta do and if you're passionate about it you'll keep doing it and find a way to make it happen so that's all you can do is just keep plugging away and at some point it will either work out or you know at the very least if you just love it and you you don't care about the the financial side about it then you're good to go too but the best thing to do is not grow too fast if you have to have a day job because it is a lot of work you know it's really all of my free time is this farm now and you know, I'm totally cool with that because I hope that one day it'll be something more than just a hobby. But, you know, things like this don't grow overnight. So, just got to keep plugging away. As I always say, I probably say that too much. I'm sorry, but that's just the reality. The worst thing you could do is go take out a big loan and just buy a bunch of land and infrastructure and all that stuff and put yourself in a whole bunch of debt for something that uh, may or may not work out. All right, sturdy enough for uh, Monday, I would say. Wish they'd come over and try it just so I could Make sure that they know how to drink. This tripod's still the best investment I've ever made, if anyone's wondering. Oops. 
Well, I guess they're not going to be too fun today. Give some pets. Get some, get some lip smacking for everybody. See if I can make her melt while she's eating. Oh, she's melting. <laughs> I think her will to eat is just a little bit stronger than her need to get pet, so. All right. Yes, I love you too, mama. Okay, that's probably it for today. Let's see. Yeah, I guess the biggest news is hopefully this week those I'll get those pigs picked up and possibly a boar. And as well as, you know, there's a lot of that's got to get done in this building as well in preparation for that. So this building will probably be Probably the next two or three episodes anyways. And then, you know, maybe Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, possibly, I can get the piglets. But we'll just see how things land. I'm not really sure how old they are by now. It's been a while in the, in the work, so hopefully they're not too heavy. Because it'd be really convenient if I could just pick them up and put them where they got to go opposed to building a fence from my trailer and corral them into their spot so it's very possible that they'll be going into this bay just because of that gate I put on I could back my trailer up to it once I find that cement mixer at home I could back my trailer up to it and just you know let them run out into here so but I got to build a door for here because if I do bring that bore, that's my only unloading option. So I gotta build a door here so that he can get into mama's pen here. So I guess Missy and Hubert are going in the other, the end stall. And, which is also fine. But I gotta build a door there too because I can't quite pick them up anymore. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. I'm slowly gaining every day. It hasn't stalled, which is awesome. Hopefully it never stalls. Uh, views are going up every day. I'm getting more and more comments from people who aren't just family. So that's kind of cool that there's some outsiders chiming in. It's uh, really encouraging and helps me keep going with this. Because like, like I said, it is a lot of work and a lot of you that are doing the same thing I'm doing know it's a lot of work. So um, yeah, just if you would, just subscribe. If you if you like anything I'm doing, just, just go ahead and subscribe. It takes no time, no effort, and all you're doing is helping me. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the help I can get. So like, comment. Like I said, I'm getting more comments, good or bad leave them all. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys next time.